What is up, Nexomites? Welcome back to some more Nexomon Extinction. Quite a couple of things happened in the last adventure. As uh, you can notice behind us, we've got a little alpaca companion following us. So I guess we should start off with that before we get into any spoilers on the team because yeah, a lot happened last time. So first of all, if you go into profile, I finally learned that this is where you can change the Nexomon that actually follows behind you. And I guess since we're here, we might as well switch it up to uh, whatever that one is. Uh, but we can also change our character's name. And I think in the beginning of the playthrough, I was undecided between Orange and Orangey. I mean, it's kind of weird that we can just change our name on the fly like that. If only it worked like that in real life. You can also change your appearance entirely. And I believe a couple of new avatars were added. Oh my god, a lot of new avatars were added, actually. I guess for like the different types, this one looks like grass. And then, I don't know about this girl, but this one looks like electric. Uh, well, I mean, these kind of look like ice or water, but not all of them are type specific is my point. But I'm definitely going to stick with the avatar we started with, the Zashian Tamer. And if you guys are excited for some more Nexomon, make sure to hit that like button. Show your support for the series because we got plenty more coming up. I think every other day at least I want to try to upload Nexomon. Our starter Gekoko finally evolved into Camelevo. This is probably one of my favorite ones so far. I really, really like the design. Um, and then we had Moonsting, who of course evolved from Stinger. And then Onin, or Onion, Onin, whatever it's called. Normally these episodes for Nexomon and everything else on the channel is done live stream and then we end up editing it into a video or a VOD, you know, video on demand. That's what VOD stands for, by the way. But what the heck is going on here? Psst. Hey, kiddo, look at me over here. Who's saying that? I don't see anything. Oh, that is horrifying, dude. <laughs> We got the great Deku Tree of Evil. Don't be afraid, Orangey. I'm just your average friendly tree. Yeah, I'm sure it's super friendly with the menacing, shaking red font there. I don't understand. Oh, please, I'm harmless. Look at these short hands. It's like a T-Rex out here. I missed the short hands. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here, Orangey. No, 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 no. Please take this. Take this wonderful gift. Oh. Okay, that's totally not suspicious. Don't take his stuff, man. <laughs> or else he's gonna take our stuff. And by that, I mean our insides. Or maybe our whole... All of us will end up inside of him, dude. He's gonna just swallow us whole. I wonder why. You know, I've always wanted to be a Nexomon tamer myself. What? My dude, you look like a Nexomon. How can you be a tamer? But with these short hands, I can't ever catch any. If you could bring me some Nexomon friends, I would be forever grateful. Just a few Nexomon to keep me company in this lonely forest. Dreva and Griff, those are the two Nexomon that I ask for. That's a bit specific. You can find those two creatures in the area nearby. How convenient! Once you bring them to me, you'll be greatly rewarded, Orangey. Driva and Griff. Oh, Kaden! Thank you for interrupting my uh, explanation, dude. But whoa, we get a vault key for that. And another golden Nexo trap and an XP core tier 2. And I guess the coin one, too. It's a side quest. We can just pretend this never happened. <laughs> Coco. We love a good fourth wall break. But, hey, speaking of Griff, it's actually the first one we're going to run into. I guess that guy was right. They really were nearby. I didn't realize it was that nearby, though. But I'm kind of scared that uh, we're going to end up killing this thing. Actually, Poison Cloud only has 30 power. So hopefully it doesn't kill it. Come on. Oh my god, it literally did 10 damage, dude. Wow. Probably should have just switched out to Cruff or anyone else that was a little bit weaker. Oh, well, I mean, we got a second chance here. Boom. And 
and Peltry's dead. Okay, we should probably look for a healing center or one of those stones nearby, maybe. I don't know if there is one or not, actually, but... Wow, Cruff! With the damage out here! Whoa! I didn't realize this dude was that strong. Three griffs in a row, though? What the heck is this, man? I mean, third time's the charm, maybe, to not kill it in one hit. Or... Re really? I was about to say, not crit it, and then that's literally what happened, dude. Come on, I guess Griff just doesn't want to be caught. Like Coco said, man, it's just a side quest after all, so maybe we shouldn't really worry about it all that much. I mean, we got three Griffs in a row, but we have not seen the other one yet. Seems like he likes the watermelon and... Grapes? So let's give him some of those. Increase those chances to catch it, as I finally got it low enough health without killing it on accident. Now, Nexo Trap, go! I wonder if there's actually a normal type Nexo Trap. I guess it would just be the regular trap, but there's nothing like specific to just normal type ones. Like there are the other elemental Nexo Traps, but there we go, we got the Griff. Go ahead and send that to the storage, because we still need whatever the other one, the tree, wanted. Uh, but yeah, now that, uh, I guess we got a little breather here. I mean, not really. Half of our Nexomons are almost dead, so we should definitely find somewhere to heal. Or we could use those potions that we just got there. Help me! Without your help, my soul will never be able to rest. For I have unfinished business in this mortal world. What do you need us to do? Bruh, first a giant, super scary tree and now a g, -g, -g ghost You must delete my browsing history no matter what. <laughs> okay, well that's definitely not what I was expecting. Yeah, that's my reaction too. Please, you will be rewarded for sure. My old house is somewhere in the citadel to the north. In there you'll find a computer and then... Yeah, yeah, we're on our way. So he said it's in the Citadel to the north, did he? I wonder... I mean, I'm hoping that there's some of those shards on the way there, man. That's really what I'm, like, in desperate need of right now. I think we actually skipped over an area, though, but it looks like we're actually getting to civilization here. Or at least there's a bridge, so I'm guessing there might be a town nearby. Oh, there's something else over here, too. Oh my god! The cemetery! I'm scared, man. I just noticed how far behind our little companion was lagging, too. Uh, that's another new thing that I guess wasn't in the base game. Like, literally every two episodes so far, since I don't record that often, or I guess stream this game that often. Uh, there's always pretty much a new update to the game whenever we do a new, or every couple of episodes. Oh, wait, what? This is where the tree was at. I mean, we got one of the Nexomon he wanted. Hey, Skirty! Oh my god, I just realized the name. Because <laughs> it's like a scaredy cat, but it's just it's just a little scaredy uh, ghosty, I guess. This is where I thought was the area we skipped over, but it turns out it just leads us to the cemetery, so never mind. I guess we didn't miss anything. Let's grab some coins and head back to where we were. The bridges are a good sign that maybe we're heading the right way. And I guess also the cutscene is a good sign. Stop! Who? Oh my... Okay, D did you think we were a ghost or what? Like, how do you just run into us like that? Eek! Get off me, Gil Tamers! Oh no, we got cat girls in this game. Just when we thought this wasn't weeby enough. Oh, come on! And we got the postman too? What are you guys doing? Why didn't you stop the thief? What did she take from you? Hmm? I forgot. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Liam. What's up? Doesn't really look like a Liam, not gonna lie. He looks more like a Pat. Maybe because postman Pat? Yeah, I'm gonna call him Pat. What did she take from you, Pat? What thief? Say, have you guys seen a letter I dropped around here? Oh, this guy has just as good a memory as I do. <laughs> what letter? By the way, have you seen a letter drop the- Oh my god. Okay. Let's just find this guy's letter. The thief must be somewhere in the city ahead. What letter? 
please. That character is definitely not going to get annoying quick. Um, but he's going to give us some coins and a couple of other items for that. Including uh, one of the foods that actually makes it guaranteed to catch an Exomon. So it's not just the Nexo traps that guarantee a catch. But also some of the foods, I think. Those like star-shaped ones that look... I guess they're like the Palpu fruits from Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, even though I kind of wanted to go with the Renji originally... I don't know, reading it in so many cutscenes, I feel like I'm already wanting to go back on that. So we're back to orange, is my point. And we've made it to the ghostly city. Yeah, that right there. The Immortal Citadel. This place is known as the Immortal Citadel. Yeah, we know. We just saw a giant. Come on, you're the fourth wall breaking character. You should know that that just popped up. Centuries ago, a witch's curse turned the people of a small town into wisps. The curse was never lifted, and the number of ghosts kept rising. Most of them got used to it and have normal lives, while the others have gone totally mad. Oh, so that's kind of cool. It's a town where ghosts and regular people live in harmony. We gotta find that psychic to examine your artifact. I heard that there's some kind of marketplace around here. I wonder if they sell things that you can't find anywhere else. Like some ghost nexo traps. We definitely already got some of those earlier. Um, this appears to be locked though. Aha! You're from the guild, aren't you? So am I. I came all the way here to understand the curse that afflicts these folks. But what can we do about it? Yep, not much. Guess I'll die. Or stay dead in the case of these people. We're ghosts. We gave up on being tidy a long time ago. What do you mean? This house looks fine. I mean, it's a little dirty, sure, but... Tidiness, I don't think, is really the issue here. Be careful out there. Some ghost tamers have grown so bored that now they're challenging anyone they see. What? You can battle the ghost too? Or I guess the, the ghost can battle you? Call this the Soviet Citadel, most like. We have a marketplace in this town. With some luck, you'll find a traveling merchant with rare Nexo traps. Yo, that's exactly what I'm hoping for. You can never have enough Nexo traps, man. That is definitely the hardest thing about this game so far is the actual catching. I mean, it's not like complicated. I think I get it now, but it's still not easy to catch Nexomon. Like at least not as easy as Pokemon, in my opinion. Aren't you a tad young to be wandering around this creepy city? You should be somewhere nicer, like Param. Been there, done that. Come on, lady. We're out here for adventure. At least the people in this town actually led us into their houses. Unlike back in Param. Uh, but there doesn't really seem to be much of interest so far in the houses themselves. Isn't this place fascinating? How does it even work? The guild has been trying to understand the foul magic that cursed this place for centuries. The guild? I thought their whole deal was just training Nexomon tamers, but I guess... No, nah, I mean, we've heard definitely more that, that like, the guild does a lot, actually. Protecting the world from tyrants and whatnot. And I guess just trying to figure out the general mysteries of the Nexo world. I want to figure out what was up with that saxophone or... I forgot the name of that thing, but it's something Gram or Phonogram. Is that what it's called, actually? Even though they're ghosts, they can still capture and train Nexomon. Yeah, yeah, we learned that too. Oh, this one looks interesting. You're a guild tamer. <laughs> I guess the guild will take anyone nowadays. Come on, how are you supposed to help beat the tyrants? What? You're judging me just for my, my small stature and my young looking face? I mean, I know we're a kid, but like that could kind of apply to myself in real life too. Sure, break into my house. Dude, it says beak. Beak into my house. That's another typo. Two episodes in a row. Come on, Nexomon. Hire me for some quality control. I got you. I'll literally make sure to talk to every single NPC. From, from my house, of course. I mean, that's something you can definitely do. Uh, even if you don't work at the actual game studio. I got you guys. I'll be beta tester, you know, for the next game. Gah! Oh wait, this is the girl. Did you follow me all the way here? We just want the letter back, thief. I'm no thief. The name's Hannah. Shouldn't you guys be fighting tyrants or whatnot? 
This letter's not mine, so get lost, punks. Oh. I didn't realize we were actually going to be fighting Hannah. Bro, my team is not ready for this at all. Oh, my God. And she's actually got the evolution of Cruff out here. The Croncho at level 12. Maybe Cruff... Or Cuff, Cruff? Cruff is its name, right? Maybe it evolves at level 12, which is actually our own is pretty close to. So, who knows? Maybe, uh... Beating down his daddy will actually get us our own corrupt to evolve. Uh, but we got to get through the rest of her team first. Which I guess the next one is going to be Warb here. The little spiderling. Man, too many spiders recently. Feels bad for anyone that's scared of spiders. Although I did ask in a recent Insurgents episode if uh, people with arachnophobia are scared of like video game or like cute little pixelated spiders. I don't think it's quite the same. I mean, unless they're like hyper realistic. They probably wouldn't scare you as much in a video game as in real life, obviously. Especially one like that, the one we just fought. That was way too cute, man. I'd be sad if I was scared of that. No hate though, I mean. <laughs> I, I understand you, you can't really control phobias like that. But uh, with our, the power of electricity, we're going to take down the Croncho. And indeed, Cruff is going to get the level 12. Maybe even evolve. Come on. Hey, there we go. Nice. Hannah with the uh, prediction or premonition or preview, I think is a better word. As we get Croncho. 25 attack, though. That's got to be one of the highest ones we've got so far. And she's dead. Nah, you're gonna pay for that. With the letter? I'll take that as payment. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's for. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, actually. Reading other people's mail. I don't know how the heck they'd ever catch you, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal for some reason. Anyway, let's go ahead and activate the warp stone. Actually, we could just use this to warp back to Param and heal up over there, since apparently there doesn't seem to be any uh, healing crystals nearby or anything of the sort, like a healing center, I guess. So, uh, Robot Joy, what were we calling? Nexo Mom, that's what it was, or Nexo Mum, to specify that I'm saying mom, like your mother. Oh yeah, I got a porklet off screen too. Bro, the other cruff we had was so much higher level, wow. See, now I feel like we just wasted time trading up this one. We could have just traded it away for that one side quest and then added this one to the team instead, but it's too late now. We got the Croncho. I ain't gonna complain, man. Uh, but I will add Porklet onto the team. That is another fire type. So Moonsting, you're gonna sit out for a little bit because we got some unfinished business here, of course. I guess we'll start off outside by delivering the letter. Hello, strangers, have you recovered my letter? Now you suddenly remember, bro? Come on. Hannah, what a coincidence. That's the name of the recipient of this letter. Oh my God. Wow. The recipient is a woman called Hannah. I'm suppressing many emotions right now. This guy delivered the letter to her and then forgot all about it. Oh, have you met Hannah? Can you guys please deliver the letter to her? Pretty please. Oh my God. I'm about to hit him, dude. <laughs> Hold me back, Coco. Hold me back, bro. I mean, we have another battle over here that we could do. Probably should have switched Cruff up first. I feel like now that he's a Croncho, you know, maybe he can uh, handle himself in battles. As we have, of course, another ghost. Or wait, no, this is a Psychic. Which I think actually Psychic is weak to Electric as well. Uh, ghost is weak to Fire for whatever reason. I mean, I guess Psychic being weak to Electric isn't really that obvious either, like why that is, that it's super effective, but no, Skidatic! Oh, I shouldn't have, or I should have switched out. I don't know why I let my dude die. Uh, what the heck is that on Camelivo's tail? It kind of looks like a hand is holding its tail together. That's kind of weird, but I want to actually test something. If I revive Skeretic here, 
Will he still get experience for knocking out the earlier Pokemon since he's now technically back to life? I wonder. Oh my god, okay, that thing looks strong, man. Oh, jeez. It is strong. <laughs> well, 16 damage isn't crazy, but... I mean, I just mentioned how ghosts are weak to fire. But... Our Porklet is only, like, level 2, so... Oh my... Dinja! Okay, Porklet is actually level 9, but still, compared to a level 13, bro... This is probably not gonna end well. Woof! Oh, Porklet! Damn, he does not do enough damage, dude. I mean, Scare takes back alive, but I didn't want to use him just to see how much experience he'd gain from this. Because, you know, he was in that battle earlier, but now I guess we're not sure. We can kind of guess based on how much experience he gets. 99! Yeah, I think he still got experience from the earlier Nexomons. So... You know, if your Pokemon or Nexomon faints and then you revive him, he still gets experience, which is nice to know. While this is definitely not the one we were looking for, but it is pretty damn cute. So I think I'm going to try to catch it. 35% though. Oh wait, it's a psychic type, not a ghost. I thought it was a ghost actually. So we got a 55% chance to catch it. Might as well say that's a half, half and half. And we get it. We got the right side of the coin today as we catch the Rapub, a very domesticated Nexomon. It is sociable and aware of its own combat capabilities. Not so tameable when it grows up, however. Oh, now I'm curious to know what the heck this thing evolves into, dude. You know what? I'm gonna just add that to the party. Now that we got Peltry evolved, I mean, I wanna see as many evolutions as we can, so. Oh my god, hey, that's actually what we were looking for. The Dreva! And Porklet is dead. Oh my god. Okay, we're actually, like, not doing too hot right now in terms of HP on any of our Nexomon. So, hopefully Croncho can handle this on his own. Uh, this is actually another Psychic type, so we might as well just go for that 50-50 chance again. 49%, technically a little bit less than 50-50, but... I think we got this. Come on. I don't- I still don't get the point of, like, the quick time event there. Oh, come on, bro! That's unlucky. Uh... Can we feed it anything? Like... Oh, it actually likes pincho. Which is the Spanish word for kebab. I, I think I said that before, but... I don't know why it says it in Spanish. I know Temtem is made by, like, Spanish developers, but this game is definitely... I mean, actually, I don't know, but... That's cool. They got a little shout-out to the pinchos, man, which is actually one of my favorite foods to get whenever I go back to Puerto Rico. Hey, there we go. The Psychic Nexo Trap didn't work, but this time, with the regular one, we get the 50-50. Its psychic powers are efficient at preventing bad dreams, making this a popular Nexomon to keep around the house and in hotels. I forgot what this is called, actually. It's like a... Wind Catcher? Dream Catcher? I think that's what it is, a Dream Catcher. That makes sense, considering its name is Dreaver. It's like a combination of both of those words. Uh, but now that we got Griff and Dreaver, let's go ahead and bring him to the grumpy old tree. You're back! Actually, he's not very grumpy at all. He's actually quite nice, even though he's a very menacing looking, but... Oh, we actually have to have Griff on the team? That's kind of lame. Like, why can't I just grab it from the PC or whatever? Alright, you stupid tree. I brought you some treats. And by that, I mean the Nexomon you wanted. Both in our party now, so we're going to trade that and get ourselves a ton of good items. How beautiful! Thank you. These will be my dearest friends forever. This is what happens when you give Flowey too much plant nutrients. Too much water, you know. With all my gifts and your hands, we can do anything. Anything. For now, I wish to spend some time with my new friends. I'm sure we'll meet again. <laughs> I don't really want to see you again, bro. Let's not think too much about this. Coco is sweating right now. <laughs> But yeah, we got some really good worthwhile rewards for that. 
like I said, the golden Nexo traps basically are like master balls out here. Guaranteed to catch anything. Uh, we still haven't found that guy's computer, actually. Oh, dude, there was a freaking crystal right there. Literally earlier, I was looking for one, and I guess I just didn't venture far enough to the right to see that. Uh, but at level 12, I don't know if Porklet's gonna be able to handle this. Oh, well, then again, that didn't really do much damage. Yo, Porklet? Oh, okay, never mind. I think it was just because it was a ghost move. It didn't do much, but... Uh, we have Fireball, which is a little bit quicker. Hey, Porklet! MVP, dude! We'll probably gain a lot of experience from that, considering it was so many levels ahead of us. Oh my god, okay. That did a bit much, don't you think, Minette? Bruh, how did it just destroy Scaretic like that, man? I'm trying to see that Scaretic evolution already. Although, I, I don't remember what level it evolves at. We might still be kind of far away. So I guess I shouldn't worry too much about it. At least Camelivo can handle it. And this guy still has another one, the Repub, which we actually just caught earlier. And is making me think about a pub burger right now. Oh, juicy. No, no, no. I got to get my mind off the burgies right now. Let's go back to the Citadel and... Uh, well, I guess find Hannah to deliver that letter. I guess we gotta look for that guy's computer too. We still haven't found that. But I have no idea where it could be. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's in a house. <laughs> Unless his computer's just sitting out in the middle of the field. Poor fellas, can you imagine being cursed into a wisp for centuries? Hey, Orange, let's cheer them up with a banquet. Marvelous pastries and the- Oh my god, no. Why? You're not thinking this through, are ya? Oh, she actually wants what she just asked for. Marvelous sweets and meats, but we don't actually have any of that right now. And this door is also locked. And so is this one. Ain't that nice? Okay, well, I think we've actually explored every building in this part of town at least. Uh, but over here, we got more of the cemetery, I guess. And some mine shard. Ooh, some hidden items, too. I don't know if you exactly call these hidden items, though, considering it's, like, nice and bright and glowy. But they're items, we'll say. Shiny items. Uh, what's down here, actually? Oh, my God, the Auga! <laughs> Auga! I don't know if that was the reference they were going for, but what the heck? Three shards right next to each other? I mean, I'll take them. <laughs> As we saw back in Param, we need a lot of shards if we're ever going to get those tier 3 synergy cores. We actually just picked up a lot of shards though. Oh my god, I forgot. We still don't have our full team. And there doesn't seem to be a healing center in the Citadel, so we can't actually get back the rest of our teammates. Unless we warp stone our way back, you know? I'm sure that we can handle this guy at least, though. Especially if we use the healing crystal right here. Porklet, you're about to get some more juicy experience, my dude. I don't know what level he evolves at either, but just like Cruff randomly evolved when we least expected it. Maybe it'll happen with Porklet, too. The Mummy Returns? That's a really cool one, too. I think I actually might have that one on the Switch version. I don't know about the evolution, though. I've definitely seen the baby mummy, but that evolution is sick, man. Makes me kind of want to find one now for this playthrough. I'd be down to use that on the team, actually. Uh, but for now, we'll find Aphorade. Uh, Yeah, back to the whole the names being 50-50 so far thing. <laughs> Aphorade. Like, what kind of name is that, dude? We got Porklet at level 10. Scaretic at 15 is still not going to evolve, though. Maybe that guy actually doesn't evolve for a while, then. That's what that's making me think. But uh, this was actually a dead end, so let's just head back to the Citadel. And I'll probably, like, heal up. Maybe head back to Param so we can get the rest of our teammates. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's not spooky at all. <laughs> just an empty clearing with no music. Or anything going on. Whoa! What? The market was actually over here the whole time? I don't know what's going on here, and I don't like finding out. 
I don't feel like finding out. Every city has its own specialty. Here we've got great potions, and in the Drake Isles, you'll find the best Nexo traps. That's actually probably what I'm gonna save the next stream when we do Nexomon for. I wanna explore, you know, so we're gonna focus on the story. Since these are, of course, just recorded episodes, we got no stream or no chat. Uh, but whenever I next stream the game, which I'm still not exactly sure when that'll be, I'm gonna focus on exploring. So we're gonna hit up the Drake Isles, maybe Palmaya, or whatever the, the tropical area. Uh, Cause yeah, we definitely want some of those special Nexo traps, but if I remember correctly, actually, you can't get those until you're a silver rank tamer. So maybe it's not worth it to go to the Drake Isles yet. We should definitely focus on that story for now. The talking tree, avoid it no matter what. No matter what! Oh god, is doing that side quest gonna end up biting us in the ass, dude? Oh no. We got a new companion though. Might as well check that out right now. Since I'm getting a little tired of seeing that little cat following us around, why not have a spooky specter instead? Quite a big um too. What is that actually? It looks like a cat mask or something? Let's get back to the safety of the marketplace because I think this might be the fortune teller we were looking for all this time. Welcome, welcome all. Say, are you tired of the disgusting quality of today's potions? At our camp, we prepare only the very best concoctions for your adventure. That's a funny word, concoction. Maybe because because there's another word hidden in there. I am very mature, guys. Believe me. Uh, but he actually only sells max potions. Which we don't really need right now, considering our Nexomon are like very, very low level. What the heck? Where were you going, bro? What? He's got a mind of his own. Oh my god, is he like... What? Is he tripping out or is he trying to follow exactly in our footsteps? I think that's what it might be actually, yeah. That's weird how far behind he lags though. Like... I don't know about the companions so far. I like that they have Nexomon able to follow you. That's obviously one of my favorite features from... You know, the few Pokemon games that have it, but... I really wish we could just make the ones that we have on our team follow us instead of some random dolls you pick up here and there. Hey, who goes there? Eliza's manner is off limits. Eliza? Is that the psychic of this place? Lady Eliza told me only to allow people who could guess her very secret number. Only then may you enter. All right, all right. I suppose we can do that. It is between one and ten million! Good luck! Excuse me? Go ahead, kid. Try to guess the number. Uh... Oh, wait. What? It's this many digits? I was about to say, if it was like three digits, we could just do, you know, the classic. But maybe it's just one, two, three, four, five? I mean, I have no idea, actually. We probably have to find it somewhere in the Citadel. But... I don't know. Let's try this for now. Impossible! Wait, are you kidding me? No way, dude. Could it have been any number? I actually don't know. There's no way I just guessed it on the first try, bro. Are you kidding me? You may enter Eliza's Manor. Please go ahead, friends. My name is Alfred, by the way. A butler named Alfred. Never heard that before. Maybe you're the psychic one, Orange. Yeah, I don't know how the frick I guessed that number, dude. I'm gonna have to test that out whenever I, you know, progress in the story on the Switch. Because I feel like it might just be any number that you guess. It'll work out. But then again, I don't know. I might just be a genius, guys. Um, so let's look around her yard here. Got a couple of shards. I just realized how we never actually went and gave that girl the letter either. So we should try to remember to do that after whatever story's going on here. Huh? It's awfully quiet in here, don't you think? Too quiet. Uh-oh. The ghosties are coming! Oh god, <laughs> I thought that was actually a ghost following us. I mean, it kind of is, but it's by our own choosing. Anyway, 
let's do a little bit of exploring. We got Alfred over here in the uh, cellar. Hello, how are you liking this accursed place? Lots of tamers come here to catch psychic type and ghost type. You should get some too, buddy. You know, I've always wanted to become a tamer like you guys. Well, what's stopping you? Well, I can't buy Nexo Traps because the marketplace owner is a talking dog. <laughs> he creeps me out. I hate dogs. They're the worst. Of course. I understand. Yeah, Coco has had a first-hand experience with that. Which actually kind of relates to what I thought he was going to say. I, I thought he was going to say that the owner, for some reason, is racist against ghosts. Which, maybe he is, but he was definitely a bit catist against Coco. Uh, I'll get some Nexa traps for you, and then you can become a tamer. Really? That'd be amazing. You two are the best. I'll be right here getting my hopes up. Let's get him a few Nexo traps, Orange. It's the least we can do for a character who was lazily recycled. What? I'm gonna guess this guy was in the original Nexomon game then. Or wait. Have we actually encountered this guy before in this game? Maybe. Sounds familiar now that I think about it. But... How many do you need? Ten? Bruh. He's not even gonna give us anything in re Come on, man. I'm pretty sure we saw, though, he's gonna give us an EXP booster. Hopefully after this dialogue, because if he doesn't give us anything, dude, I swear. Oh my... He disappeared. He didn't pay us back. Oh well, at least he seems pretty excited about becoming a... No, F that, dude, are you kidding me? We just lost 10 Nexo Traps for no reason. Bro, I swear, next time I see Alfred, he's getting that five finger discount, dude. Wow. What a scam. Well, at least we get to find out what's going on with this girl. Totally not creepy. Hello, Orange. I've been expecting you and your pet. You must be Eliza. Uh, yep, the best psychic in the world. She's just a kid. How can we know if she's the real deal? Pfft. I knew that you'd guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to find the tyrant of light. Someone tried to kidnap you. We live inside a video. Whoa. Wait, what was that last one? Yeah, I thought Coco was supposed to be the fourth wall breaker here. Okay, so what can you tell us about this artifact? Oh, I know everything about the Tyrant of Light, but I can't help you right now. Nay, you've been through my city. Did you notice anything strange? Anything strange in an accursed city full of ghosts? Gee, I'll cut to the chase then. Just when your fools arrived, wild Nexomon started going berserk all over my city, wreaking havoc. This place is literally built on top of a Nexomon graveyard. What else did you expect? How is this our fault? There's no such thing as coincidence, dimwit. This is your doing. You want my counsel? Fix what you caused. Three monsters. Chop, chop. What? So we gotta eliminate three Nexomon for her. We actually haven't seen any, at least inside of the city so far. Bro, I should have known that the dude wasn't going to give us anything for the traps. Like, it showed in the reward screen. There was no, you know, trade. Or items in the trade box, so... I... <sighs> Feels bad, dude. Oh, well. Let's see. Eliza said there are three Nexomon going rampant. Except we haven't seen any of them. I'm guessing they're going to pop up now that we accepted the side quest. But still, oh my god, okay. That's got to be one of them right there. Help, that monster's attacking anyone who tries to cross the bridge. So, oh, there's another bridge down here. Okay, before we do that, I'm actually just going to go deliver the letter to that one girl. Except I forgot what house she's in. Is it the main one right here? It's gotta be, right? It was definitely the one with the second floor, so let's find out. Aha! Hannah! Yo, she's pissed. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> Sup? Here's your letter, Hannah. Thanks. The mailman has memory issues. He's not the only one, though. 
Uh, ooh, we should get going now. Yep. Is that really it? Oh, I mean, at least we get a reward, unlike Alfred. All right, we got the gang back together and they are ready to take down some rampaging Nexomon. I guess starting off with the mummy here. We already fought one of these earlier, so I mean, we kind of know how to deal with it. Ah, orange. Yes, orange, I know your little secrets. What is that thing talking about? We don't have any secrets. What, do you know that I'm let's playing this game right now? I can see through your dark schemes. Wait, is that the actual mummy talking right now? And why is it level question mark question mark? This is making me question how difficult this is going to be to take out. But it has over 100 health. So maybe this is actually a little bit of a mini boss here. Oh my god, the crit. As you guys can see, obviously, we got Croncho leading the party now. And, uh... He was doing pretty good until he wasn't. So let's go and switch it over to Camelivo to hopefully finish things off for us here. Oh, gosh. Hey, the dodge, though. There we go. I still don't quite remember what else Ghost is weak to, aside from fire. But since Porklet is so low level, I just gave him the EXP share cores things he just talked as if you were super evil or something which you are not right i mean let's see seems like we're not done yet eliza said there are three incidents going on in the immortal citadel let's keep looking we actually haven't been over to the right side of the town yet or this building either oh hey it's that guy's computer beep boop deleting browsing history beep Browsing history deleted. This is stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't realize we could just teleport immediately to him. Why not? I was actually thinking about wrapping up this episode by uh, turning in this side quest anyway. And it looks like we're going to get expedited straight to him. Please accept this as payment. And we get a vitality core plus some coins and a plant trap. The boys are back in town and definitely still the same day as the previous recording. I don't know why you'd ever think otherwise, but I decided to actually wrap up this side quest in today's episode since it would feel kind of weird to leave it off halfway. Uh, so we're still after the other two, I guess, Nexomon that are running rampant around the Citadel here. And there's actually a whole nother area to the town that we didn't explore yet. You can reach the Solus Desert by heading east. It's dangerous, but you'll never be alone as long as you've got this. Uh, well, actually, she's got a bunch of shards for us. I was expecting a sword, you know, for reasons, but I'll take the shards anyway. Thank you, buddy. And over here, you don't think I didn't notice the nice cake on the rock there. I mean... I wouldn't really go around eating sweets off the floor, but maybe in the Nexomon world, just like in Pokemon. I don't know, dude. People be eating items off the floor all the time. Like, how many times have we found rare candies on the ground? Although, I guess you feed them to your Pokemon, not yourself. I like to follow the rules of the Scooby Snack, which is if it's good for my pet, then it's good for me too. Uh, we got a whole gang organized over here. Don't know what's going on. It's no use! The road ahead is closed! Haven't you heard? A tyrant! A tyrant has appeared down the road! Nothing we can do, mate. Just wait until the pros take care of it. I thought we were a pro. What the heck, man? I'm actually wondering when we're gonna get to fight our next tyrant, because that seems to be kind of the replacement to gyms in this game. You know, we don't have the traditional Elite Four Championship and all that. Although we did hear apparently the top four tamers are like the Grand Masters, so maybe there is kind of a Nexomon League, but there's definitely no gym system. So I'm guessing that the story is going to progress more so like every major plot will revolve around one of the Titans or Tyrants, I mean. Uh, oh, there was a healing spot here the whole time too. Wow. Wild Nexomon going berserk. Well, you are a tamer. Call for backup if you can't beat him yourself. There's plenty of tamers already around here. I think we got this. Uh, this guy's not one of them though, but he's looking for some potions, which we actually just bought some, or I guess we didn't actually, because I thought they were too good for like how low level we are. But I guess if we want to do this trade, we can go back to the potion brewer and get some of those for him. 
Uh, yes, we did go to the frozen tundra, but then I forgot to save the game, so I guess for the sake of this save file, we've never seen the frozen tundra, so I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. We're gonna pick up some flan off the ground and another greed core. Like I said, if they're good for my next Amon, they're good for me too. So hopefully we can put those to use later on. Or maybe right now, because there is definitely one of those rampaging Nexamon. The marketplace is under attack. Oh, my dude, Cooper. I can't do business with that thing over there. All right, we got you. You're going to fight? All right, I'm counting on you. I don't think Coco approves of this. Uh, hey, our dude, the, 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 what is it called? Companion is standing right between us. Good thing the fight wasn't between me and Cooper. Instead, we're going to take on this one-eyed... Freak of nature, the Foley Course. Curse. Folly Curse. Oh, because it's like a follicle. Like, I think that's a hair thing. A follicle of hair. Except this one is very cursed, making the game lag out, apparently. I mean, if you couldn't tell from before, I was being sarcastic, and this is definitely being recorded on a completely different session than earlier, but I decided I wanted to wrap up this side quest in this episode rather than, uh, you know, leave you guys on a cliffhanger as I tend to do with a lot of other videos, but not in next Nexomon, all right? We got the full hype, full length episode here. You did it, you saved my business. Please take these, they should aid you in your adventures. And we got some ghost Nexo traps, which actually I'm thinking of putting to use in the next episode, uh, because I wanna actually try to catch some of the starters that we saw at the beginning of the game. Let's see. Seems like we aren't done yet. Eliza said there are three incidents going on in the Immortal Citadel. Let's keep looking. So I'm gonna guess... Oh my... Where did you guys just come from? Okay. Yeah, Ghost and Psychic Nexomon are very popular. That's exactly what I was just about to mention. Is that... I don't know if it's gonna be a regular episode or just like these where I pre-recorded them. Or if we're actually gonna do a Nexomon stream sometime soon. But either way... Uh, in the next few episodes, I want to focus on actually exploring a little bit more rather than the story so that we can try to get all of the starter Nexomon that we saw back at the beginning of the game. Uh, and actually, one of them, the ghost one, is actually, I think is close by to here, but I mean, we got plot right now, so we can't really worry about it. Is this Coco's dad? Ugh, stay back! Stay back, you foul monster! You think I'm afraid of you? Take this! The Zelda references today, though. Ugh! You may be stronger, but I can still outrun ya! Bruh. I'm gonna guess the cats are not Nexomon. <laughs> the developers of this game must be on a tight budget. I mean... What are you two waiting for? Help me! What, just because you made him run around in circles? I don't... Where is the roast coming from, Coco? Oh my god, we got Monka Pow! Which I feel like might have been from the original Nexomon game, but I'm not quite sure. He definitely looks familiar. Maybe we've seen him in this game before, but I'm gonna guess that we actually can't catch this guy, even though he does look like a Nexomon I would want on my team. Like, you guys know I love the monkey Pokemon, and I mean, we got a monkey Nexomon, so why the heck would I not want this on my team? So it's at 4 HP right now. Let's see if we can even... Oh, no, there's no option to throw the trap. So never mind. No question about it. We're just going to knock it out. And I guess get that nice experience for Croncho. Look at that. Already level 15 from just two battles. My dude is basically the highest on the team right now. I am too old for this. <laughs> Good job, my friend. The name's Ron. That monster was tormented me even when I st was still alive. And we get a vault key from him. We've gotten a lot of vault keys already. I feel like they're not as rare as I thought they'd be. But the vaults themselves we haven't seen yet. So haven't you heard of Spencer's fortune? Centuries ago a very rich team built nine underground vaults all across the world. You need keys like this one to open them. The vaults contain all manner of rare treasure. Not really useful to me anymore of course. Are you telling us to go ransack some dead guy's treasure? I can take the key back if you don't like. Come on, we didn't say that. <laughs> That's the spirit. If I'm not mistaken, there's one such vault hidden somewhere in a cave to the east of the Immortal Citadel. Good luck, kids. Maybe we'll meet again. He's a ghost. A cave to the east, huh? Might be worth checking out sometime. One guy that definitely disappeared on us, though, is Alfred. That son of a gun took our shards and went running. 
Or wait, no, it was our next toe traps that we gave him. Either way, I'm still pissed at him, dude. So Eliza, help us calm down here. Welcome back, and well done. You gonna help us now? We gotta learn about this artifact. <laughs> Did you heal your Nexomon? Oh god, she wants a battle, huh? What? Let me restore your party real quick. Bruh. This is really gonna end in a battle. Uh, thanks, I guess. What's going on? Any good tamer should know this. Listen up. Somebody's coming to kidnap you again. So brace yourself. Wait, what? Eyes forward, you fools. He's gonna break through the window? The anticipation is killing me, dude. Shouldn't we just leave like we could just leave? Let them come, all right? Why? So she sees the future, but she's not gonna help us prevent it. Instead, they do smash through the window. We got Gene Simmons. <laughs> we got him now, boys. Well done. Oh, so that small fry is orange. That's the boss target. Yes, sir. I remember him from the orphanage. He's not strong enough to beat ya. Of course not. I can't believe you lost to someone like that. <laughs> no matter. I'll finish what you guys started. You made us wait for them. What is wrong with you? Oh, relax. You can handle this one. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Think again, brat. I have never failed, my lord. I'll take Orange to him now. We gotta run. He seems way stronger than the orphanage bandits. Shush, kitty. Who's the psychic here? Fight him! Okay, so I guess if she saw the full future, then she knows that we're gonna succeed in this battle. But this man is gonna start off with Dracoli, which looks really sick. He's literally the Dio bat from back in Pokemon Clover. Bit of a vampire bat thing going on. I mean, vampires and bats have always been a thing together, but he's got a cool design, all right? That's all I'm saying. But it ain't enough for the Croncho. And we're also gonna have Mascat, which I think might be weak to electric. I keep forgetting about the electric type matchups. Those are definitely the ones that are the most different from Pokemon because they're weak to plant, I think. Like electric is weak to plant, but I also think electric is super effective against psychic for some reason. But it's not quite gonna be enough, so Camelievo will go down. I probably should have just switched him out so that he could get experience. Oh my god, what is this thing? The Emborion. And unfortunately, Croncho's not looking too hot right now. I guess we have potions. We could always rely on those. But I'm going to swap it over to Repub for now, who we just caught a little bit ago. And he's got that Psy Bomb, which is not going to do much, even with a critical hit there. Oh, and we're demotivated. Yep. <sighs> kind of figured we weren't going to be able to hit. I don't know why I kept my dude uh, Repub in. <laughs> But, I mean, what? You have another one still, bro? The Rifa. And that looks awesome, actually. I really want to catch one of those. So, yeah, next time we'll try to do some more exploring. Oh, wait. He's got the evolution, too. I was really surprised that we one-shot that last ghost with Croncho's Water Blast here. It does have 100 power, but still, man. I wasn't expecting it to just one-shot a critical hit like that. Like, Croncho is OP for sure. Compared to the rest of our team, at least. Like, look at this man. He is single-handedly wiping this dude's team. So we're going to let Scare Tick, you know, at least get a participation medal here. Maybe get some experience from these guys. As I believe, yep, his final Mon will be the one we were just fighting. The Emborion here. Which I wonder if that's actually the evolution to one of the starters. I remember there was like the little fire starter looked really cute. And we're demotivated. Oh, that sucks. Come on. You got this, Scare Tick. Yes, the Pulse Storm is faster. So at least someone other than Croncho will get the experience there. Only 84, though. Wow. I mean, I guess Porklet got some, too. Level 12. And no evolution yet. That's fine, though. This dude is really beat up, though. I don't understand. Minions, you told me that Orange was weak. I swear that he wasn't that strong back then. Something's different. Tisk tisk tisk. Petty clown, you are but a puppet in this grand play of mine. You'll never see it coming. Except she saw it all coming. What have you done, witch? Let's just say that I gave Orange some training. I released several wild Nexamon into my city and then forced him to fight them one by one. 
Wait. You sent those Nexum on rampant? Yeah, that cat dad could have died. And now you're much stronger because of it. You're welcome. I'm not even sure who's the villain here. This ain't over. I won't fail, my lord. I'll be back, I swear. And you'll lose again. Take my word for it, fool. Yeah, just take the L and maybe change up the career path, man. This ain't for you. Maybe take up some vandalism. I seem to be pretty good at that. Good gracious. Even with my clairvoyance, I wasn't sure if you'd win. You do look like a small fry after all. Wow. What about my next summon, though? Why is everyone trying to kidnap Orange? How can you be so oblivious? Come on, show me that artifact of yours. Hmm. Goodness, I never thought that I'd see this with my own eyes. Well, how is this old thing related to the Tyrant of Light? Mm-hmm. How blind of you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tyrant of Light itself, fools! It's not a relic, it's an egg! What? What? The plot twist, though! You mean, a tyrant will hatch from this thing? Precisely! The so-called Tyrant of Light is but a myth, a bedtime story, but now you have the means to make it a reality. You've met Atlanta, haven't you? That woman found an egg as well, and it hatched into the powerful Nivalis. So we can have our very own tyrant? Yes, you can technically create a tyrant all for yourself. How very exciting! She looks creepy in the bottom left art, but like, the one right here below me? I don't know, she looked kind of excited about it. Are you kidding? Of course we are! <laughs> oh, Coco's glow. How do we hatch the egg? She has no idea, does she? Psychics can't know everything, after all. The first step is to nourish it with elemental power. And for that, you need to visit a very peculiar kind of shrine. A Lee Line, as people call it. There are plenty of shrines across the world. There's one in the city of Ignisha, for example. Hehe, <laughs> raising a tyrant, the guild would hate to hear that. But that's your own decision. If you really want to hatch the egg, find the elemental shrine in Ignisha. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to fix my window. I'll send you guys the bill later. What? We gotta pay for it, bro. Getting your own tyrant sounds amazing, but it will be difficult. We could head east to Ignisha, as she said, or do some quests around here. Yeah, as I already mentioned, we're probably gonna be doing some side quests for a bit. Oh yeah, we got the uh, reward for saving the city. Quote unquote, since apparently she was the one that sent the tyrants out in the first place, we get some more cake. At least this one wasn't on the ground.